Historically, black colleges and universities have played a critical role in the advancement of African-American life. Established in an era where black Americans weren't permitted to attend the same schools as their white counterparts, these institutions fostered both academic success and a sense of community, and they've served a similarly vital role in the tennis world. HBCUs helped nurture black tennis through the painful heart of segregation. From 1927 to 1968, an HBCU hosted all but six of the American Tennis Association national tournaments. At campuses like Bethune-Cookman University, Hampton University, South Carolina State University, and West Virginia State University, the ATA was able to grow and reach African-American players on a larger scale. These institutions were the home of student athletes like Althea Gibson, Margaret and Matilda Rumania Peters, Nathaniel and Franklin Jackson, Jimmy McDaniel, and George Stewart. In recent years, the Florida A&M University's men's team has become a major force on the collegiate tennis scene. Under the direction of Dr. Carl Goodman, in 2000, FAMU became the first all-black tennis team to land in the top 30 in the country. Goodman's tenure produced alumni like Pro Tour coaches Zach Evenden and Kamal Murray. Today, 38 HBCUs in the U.S. are home to tennis programs. To help overcome these programs' funding and resource challenges, the USTA has established the David N. Dinkins HBCU Coaching Grant. This support is aimed at enhancing a wealth of opportunities for players of color, specifically women, with the potential to become coaches and help grow the game established out of necessity, playing a vital role in African-American life. Historically, black colleges and universities continue to serve in dynamic ways. The vibrancy of tennis on these campuses is a powerful example of the impact they will continue to have in the future.